Welcome back, meteorologist Jordan Smith here on this Sunday evening. Before we get into the forecast, I'm going to continue just to show you the vibrant fall colors that continues to show up across our part of the world. Here is Black Mountain down in eastern Kentucky. Thanks to Ben Shoulders for taking that picture. Again, just beautiful conditions continue to show up. Here is a current live look at downtown Lexington. Thanks to our Bluegrass Pace Care Skyview Hicks and Funson Cam. Showing the sun, yes, already beginning to set. That sunset time is getting earlier and earlier the deeper we get into fall. We're setting at 61 degrees right now here into the Bluegrass and it's upper 50s to low 60s uh, across the entire region. 59 in Danville, 59 in London, 55 there into Hazard. But if we look back to our southwest, portions of West Tennessee and Arkansas have been into the 70s today. Well, we have that on the way after we get past our Monday. But for tonight, it is all about the clear skies and this big area of high pressure. That is going to allow temperatures to really begin to drop into the overnight. That is why our entire viewing area is under a frost advisory that will run until 10 a.m. on our Monday. Let's track out those temperatures to see how low we go. So out the door on our Monday morning, low to mid 30s. I mentioned this in first weather. Some areas may hit the freezing mark or below and that'll be the coldest morning that we have had since back into the spring. And then tomorrow afternoon, pretty much a near normal and near perfect fall afternoon across Kentucky, upper 60s, maybe even pushing 70 degrees down there into southern Kentucky. Tuesday, look at that, not starting nearly as cold, mid to upper 40s. And by the afternoon, 70 to 75 with a mix of sun and clouds on the way. Now, those 70s will continue with sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, and the first part of Friday. Once we get into the weekend, we start to see some changes showing up, but that cold front keeps getting delayed. A few days ago, it looks like it was moving in here on Friday. Well, then the models pushed it back to Saturday, and now it's looking like it's gonna be Sunday into Monday. So while yes, we could see some scattered showers Friday into Saturday, most of those two days look dry. But look at this, Sunday, we're likely to see temperatures continuing into the 70s ahead of the southwest flow. This big area of high pressure will ride to our southeast. Look at this just mega of a system. Moisture stretching from the Gulf of Mexico there in Texas all the way up to the interior northeast and Canada. This is going to be a major system affecting pretty much the entire country. Now, what exactly happens with this system? We're going to have to continue to nail it down over the next few days. But odds favor that we get in on some decent rain, some winds, maybe even some strong thunderstorms. If we look at that future cash rainfall, it could show a few inches as of now. So again, make sure you're staying with us here at ABC 36 Storm Team as we continue to track that out. Behind that, though, is just very cold air. Halloween, this is an early thought, but it could be pretty cold across Kentucky. But we need that rain that's coming this weekend because you can still see pretty much our entire area under at least some form of drought. So back here in the short term, mid 30s tonight with that patchy frost turning to upper 60s tomorrow, partly sunny and very pleasant temperatures. Look at that seven day forecast. Oh my word, that does not look like we are into October with temperatures could reach the mid to upper 70s Thursday into Friday. We could be challenging record highs here across central and eastern Kentucky, and then the rain changes slowly increase as we get off into the weekend. Stay with us. More ABC 36 at 630 on the other side of the break.